a few culture time people are we taking it back to 2007 with Tammy Chin's big hit over and over again and the Guardian Angel rhythm big big song Betsy and I never know say it was about her husband Wayne Marshall the other big artist in the business right but let's hear from her in a few culture yo Tammy talk to them Fuey Culture is powered by Ray White Overproof Rum. Fuey Culture. Do what you want, as long as you're with me. Say what you want, as long as I hear you calling my name over and over again. Um, how did that song come about? What inspired it? Wow, do you know that that song was written by myself and Tessan, and even my dad was there when we wrote that song. And, um, you know, it was inspired by a great love that I had at the time and felt at the time. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a true story about me and Wayne. Uh, we heard the rhythm, um, Guardian Angel, that's what it's called, right, that rhythm. And I just remember writing the song. I must have recorded it at, the, at our home studio at the time, to Underground Studios. And I remember this, I'll tell you a story about that. I went to play it for Arif, and I remember um, my manager at the time, Conroy, was there, and Sanjay was there as well. And I remember them trying to convince me that the hook of the song was, I think I like you, and if you got some time to spend, and I was like, no, that's not the hook. The hook is, do what you want, as long as you're with me, say what you, and they were like, nope. That's not the hook. And I remember being like, are you guys crazy? Like, that's not the hook of the song. And it was a big, like, um, discussion that we had for well over an hour as to what the hook would be. Of course, I won in the end. <laughs> Searching for the truth. All I know you My heart belongs to you. Did you at any time while working on the song expect the song to have taken off the way it did definitely not definitely not i could have never imagined that it would have been like one of the um leading songs on that rhythm i i just didn't think so i don't think well maybe some people do i don't think that anytime i wrote a song i sat and i thought yeah man this saga sometimes it's just the way things work out and for whatever reason i think that song just resonated with a lot of people and i think it had a lot to do with it being from a very true place so people could really um, relate to it because they know what that feel like but i can tell you this anytime i've ever heard a song of mine on the radio it, for the first time it's exciting and you just think all right it's kind of like you're just waiting to see what's going to happen you have no clue how it's going to turn out and if people are going to like it or not and you kind of just sit and wait and see but hearing your song on the radio is always an exciting thing for an artist. Just for the honeymoon, put all the way. What kind of doors did the song's success open for you? Oh, so many. I mean, you know, I was able to perform in so many different places, did so much. Um, like I said, you know, it, it became the song that like kind of, um, if hyperventilating landed me on the map, this song said, all right, let's keep going. And so, you know, that's the thing about being an artist. Like, you don't know when it's going to happen or what song it's going to be, but when it does, it's right on time. And I would say that it was right on time, perfect part of my career to just, you know, have me keep going in that direction. It's a lot of fun. And I just might never get up, so I guess I will be here to stay. So Junior Culture is currently promoting his latest single, Never Gonna. So let's hear about his musical journey. Junior Culture, tell what we're going on. And I'm never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. And deserve you. Yeah man, this is Junior Culture from Kingston, Jamaica. Reggae artist on the rise, you know. Rastafari as the Almighty. Stay tuned for the interview. Well, Junior Culture is just um, a youth that grew up in Kingston, Jamaica. First, I was born in Jonestown. Then I moved to Spanish Town where I reside with my grandmother. At age 18, I moved back to Kingston where I pursued my musical career very seriously. Yeah? Well, along the journey, I think I take a break from working with producers and try to learn the business. 
because the business is very important to learn, not just go on a microphone and sing. Learn the business is very important. So from that time, I keep learning the business and keep producing my own things. You know, the journey was hard, but I love it. It brings me to this day, you know, I love it. Rich boy, you look harsh, you tell him thing, one of your culture alone. I blow up our farm, no me get rich, see the money in a farm, baby. What I would like to see happen in terms of the media is give youths more privilege. Give the youth more privilege to exploit, explore their career and let people can see them, you know? But I know it's not easy, you know? But whatever artists have to do, artists have to do it because I have to do what I have to do to get there. Junior culture brings positive music, real energy, vibrant music, real song. Not, I'm not going to sing about a Benz because I don't own one. I'm not going to sing about BMW because I don't own those things. You know, I'm going to sing about real things, music that lifts people's spirit. Never gonna say the current song we are promoting now is called Never Gonna. It was taken from the original Never Gonna Give You Up by, Mick, by Rick Ashley. You know? And I want to just big up my team for the hard work they are doing, the believing, for believing in me. You know? Big up Carl Durant and the whole team. You know? So give thanks, Rastafari, Junior Culture. Highly. Never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and desert you. Guys, it's time for the biggest, baddest countdown in the world, and you can't tell me otherwise, right? You know what I'm talking about. The Magnum Top 10 chart. Yo, which song they are number one? The only way you're gonna find out right now is if you see here what's in Magnum Top 10 chart. Yo, Magnum. Look at that now. Festivity, she got to bring it, come here, make me lucky. Take out my rifle, go to us. The whole has been done. Is it really my pride that my tears gone dry and me just can't show? Dirt, 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 everybody kiss me. Right now, me there on a journey. Give my heart to some people, but I know you make me happy. Run, 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 run. We be a more far from perfect. Hurt people close. All the ex, them off the exodus. You kept it in charge. You'll never find a love like mine. Dad, the mother, your lunch up another beer. Mark X with a crown, you know, sit plate. That's how we say goodbye this week to Port Royal and another episode of Pre This. Your boy Jeremy, look out for me next week. You don't know us how we set it. Stay safe, people. And guess what? I'm out. Previous was brought to you in partnership with Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fiwi Culture, CB Chicken, The Better Tasting Chicken, Bad Dog Sausages, Bigger Better Badder and by Kingston 62 Rum.